What is up guys and welcome to the Trading Up series. Now, we've seen this done by some of the world's largest YouTubers like FaZe Rug, where he took a paperclip and traded it for an iPhone, but I've never seen someone do it just like this. If you're new to the channel, my name is Evan and I am one of the co-founders of Throttle, where we take junk cars and transform them and make them awesome. In this series, I'm gonna show you how we took our $7,000 Lexus IS300 transformed it and then traded it up for a Ferrari or Lamborghini. So what I want for you guys to do, if you are pumped on this concept, take one second, smash the like button and subscribe to our channel so you do not miss an episode. And I wanna say that if you and your friends wanna try this at home, maybe it's just with parts or maybe it's with cars as well, try the trading up challenge amongst your friends and tag us on Instagram and let's see who can get the best car or part as a result of trading up. So let's get into it guys, enough messing around. I'm gonna hand over the camera to Quinn and let's get this project started. Welcome back to the vlog guys, my name is Quinn and today we're gonna to be starting on the aesthetics for the Lexus IS300 project we got going on. Now that we got the car running and driving reliably, we're gonna go ahead and start making it look good. And step one is going to be replacing that fender because it is munched. We got a nice little kink there, kind of crumbled on the body line and we got a new one. I'm surprised we actually got one in pretty much the exact same color. So we're gonna be replacing that fender with that fender. Now on top of the new fender, we have a full discontinued genuine Sea West body kit for the car. And unfortunately, it has been plastidipped, so we're gonna have to go in and remove this. We do have some things coming away. Nikki started picking away at it, but we do have some liquid dip remover on its way. So that is a set of side skirts, front bumper, and rear bumper, along with some mesh to go in the grill. And we have a brand new set of headlights. These things are insanely clear, and they're gonna look killer on the car. I'm very excited to throw this kit on. It's gonna give it a classic modified JDM style look. It's gonna be killer. the day is finally here all of the new throttle merch is live on the site we're calling this the JDM supply drop this is my personal favorite that we've ever dropped we've got the long sleeve t-shirt here in white we've got a black t-shirt as well as a heather gray shirt and we have a black hoodie really really thick and heavy quality on this one here's the back super dope we've got a new flat brim hat and we have two jet tags here. These are really cool. They've got the taillights on one side for the Mark V Supra and R35 GTR. And on the other side, we have the front with the headlights. So super cool design. If you guys wanna check out any of this stuff and support your boys, check out the top link in the video description and pick something up. And remember, all these purchases are good for the Supra giveaway as well. So thank you guys so much and enjoy the rest of the video. Fonzie, I hope this stuff works, dude. We're gonna snake, find out. Snake, snake oil? Stop. You think it's gonna do anything? Spray the sides here. I mean, it's supposed to. Test. Whoa! This is melting. Look at it bubbling right there. Yeah. My fingernail is taking it off. Alright, so. You're gonna hit it again? And then we'll wait another two, three minutes. And we're gonna try to power wash it off. That's what the instructions say. Deliver enough salt.
Finally! The Plasti Dip is removed. Plasti Dip off. That was a nightmare. If you are thinking about Plasti Dip in something, don't. Please, please don't. No. It was really difficult to remove. So Quinn, on the front bumper, he decided to basically peel everything. On the rear bumper, it was really giving me a lot of trouble, so we ended up buying that spray from Fonzie, actually. Dip your car. It actually worked pretty good. It made a big mess, but it did work really well. So two different methods. Both work pretty good, and the side skirts was kind of a combination of the both. Uh, but the front bumper is removed, so Quinn and I are gonna toss this on and see what it looks like. I just love the little detail too in the Sea West. There's a little bit more of that material in there, but we'll get that out. Woo! With the new headlights too. Got that saran wrap. We got a little bit of blacky. Oh, that fits really nice though. Look at that. What's up, my name's Nick. I'm the owner of Dentsmith PDR in San Diego, California. We got a few little dings, two on the hood, the door, and we're just gonna go around and kinda get it cleaned up, looking good. So we're uh, finished up with this vehicle today. Everything came out pretty good. We had two dents right here on this body line. You see cannot see that at all anymore. Yeah, no, it came out perfect, it came out perfect. Thank you so much for coming down. We'll yeah, see you at the next project. Definitely. All right, so Nick killed it on the IS. The dents are all gone and now it is ready for ghost wraps to do their thing. So without further ado, let's bring it over there and start that process. That's insane. Let me park. I gotta see this thing. All right, so Ricky and I pull up the ghost wraps to come pick up the IS. That thing looks freaking <laughs> incredible, man. Bro, it looks so sick. What's up, dog? Perfect timing, because the boys are just coming back from ghost wrap. So our tires aren't here from Falcon yet, but they should be uh, maybe today. Uh, but we'll be able to test fit the wheels and make sure that they fit just right. Think they will? Ooh, I'm excited for this. Let's go. Here's the, Here here's the king. Stance boy. Come on, Jimmy. What you think? Dude, this is sick. What did we do? Wait, did we paint it? No, it's wrapped. It's wrapped? Yeah. That's a compliment right there. See C, C West kit? Yeah. Real, C West. real deal. That goes hard. We pulled up and they had it out front. We didn't even realize that was it. Really? Yeah. 
Should I back up and come back in? You want? Yeah. I didn't even f***ing recognize it. Yeah, me either. All right, so we got the Lexus back from the wrap shop. It looks incredible. So now we got to throw it back up on the rack, blow the whole thing apart, and install all these super sweet new parts we got from the car. bit of a stretch on the tire but when this comes up that's gonna be like perfectly flush we're gonna be doing a combination of basic maintenance and installing upgraded suspension components on this car so we're gonna be replacing both the front wheel bearings. This one has a little bit of play in it. The other one seems to be in pretty good shape, but we're just gonna go ahead and do both. We're also gonna be replacing this ball joint assembly here. These fail and when they do, it does not end well. The combination of BC coilovers, upgraded suspension components, and a more aggressive wheel and tire setup is gonna put more strain on that ball joint specifically, as well as the upper one. I believe we're doing upper control arms too. So we wanna have all of this stuff in as, as good condition as it can be before we let this thing rip. So let's start blowing the front suspension apart. Before we continue, I wanted to talk about the brake setup we're gonna be running on the Lexus. I went to drop off the wheel bearings at the machine shop, and before I even got back, Ricky had the calipers coated Flora, which is honestly really impressive because Flora is a really hard color to shoot, and the fact that Ricky gets it right so freaking always is beyond me. Along with the beautiful painted calipers, we're gonna be running a full EBC brake kit. So these are their rotor kits. They're labeled left and right, so we won't get the rotors backwards. They are coated to prevent the surfaces from rusting so you don't end up with super rusty rotors after a few years. And we're gonna be running their green stuff pads. Now we ran these brakes on the NSX and we absolutely love them. They're a really good street brake pad. They come with a red coating to promote a better break in and all around there are an extremely good streetable track pad that you can have lots of fun with on the road. If any of you guys are interested in a set of EBC brakes, check the link down in the description at throttle.com and get yourself a set.
So the Lexus is almost done. We just need to put on our brand new wheels and tires. These are Kansai Roku's. How good are these? So this is a new brand that we just picked up on throttle.com. So if anyone's interested in Kansai, we sell all of their wheel line on our site now. And this is a pretty aggressive setup for the IS300. We ended up going with a 18 by nine and a half with a 38 offset squared. Um, and we went with a staggered tire setup. So this is the Falcon Xenus FK510. Uh, 255 in the back and a 235 in the front. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. We did a little bit of a test fit and I, I think it's gonna give us the fitment uh, how we want it. So really cool wheels, really nice quality and they are actually really lightweight too, which is great. Ready to slap them on? Yep, let's do it. That's it. That's it. This car is officially wrapped up here. The little final seal of approval, the throttle decal. This thing really transformed and now it's ready for its new owner. So this thing is officially for trade right now. But before we do, let's hit him with a quick cinematic. So we've done a lot to this car from maintenance to mods to making it look good aesthetically we're going to kind of start at the front and just work all the way back so first body wise beautiful wrap done by ghost wrap c west body kit under the hood we've got a fresh timing belt done all the maintenance has been done cam seals crank seal plugs wires timing belt Serpentine belt, we got a full Mishimoto cooling system, we got a full cannon intake, and we have an ultra racing front strut race and ultra racing bits throughout the entire car. The car is sitting on BC coilovers. We've got the lower ball joint assembly replaced, we got the inner and outer tie rods replaced, we got the wheel bearings replaced, we got new upper control arms, full EBC brakes, pads, and rotors. We blew the calipers off and painted them floor yellow. We've got a beautiful set of Kansai wheels and Falcon tires on them and then bracing throughout the underneath of the car. X braces, we've got a few um, rear subframe reinforcements, full sway bar kit, front and rear. All right, so one last thing we're gonna do is all of the guys here at Throttle are gonna sign the dash, and it's gonna be awesome before we give this car away. Trade, trade the car away for something better. So a couple of weeks have passed since the guys finished up on the IS300. It turned out awesome. I made a post in the Throttle VIP Facebook group. If you're not sure what that is, that's our car club. So in the VIP Facebook group, I basically said, who wants to trade for the IS300? And I got a ton of responses. I've actually been talking with this guy, his name Sean Smith, been a VIP member for a long time. He had what I felt was the perfect car for us to trade up to that next value of car. And we actually had the car shipped out here, sight unseen. He just flew out and he just arrived at the shop and he's gonna show me the car for the first time. Oh, I'm looking at the car right now. You guys ready to see it? Welcome to San Diego. What's up, dude? Welcome. So here it is. Dang, I love the color. 
It's so dirty. It's never this Wait, we, we traded for this? We did. And what are we gonna do? This thing's starting to look nice. Well, there's something that I haven't told you about this yet. Other so it's, like, it's got a hurt. It's got a hurt motor. Oh, ah. that makes sense. <laughs> 2014 335i six-speed manual. If you've been following the channel for a while, we did a, a red one, and as soon as Sean sent me this, I was like, you know what? That seems like a good opportunity, and I jumped on the deal. All right, let's pop the hood. Hey, hey, pop the hood. Pop the hood. It hey, pop the hood. Pop the hood? Hey, has it intake already too? So yeah, it's intake, front and back stabilizer bars put on just beefy ones. What it, what it really has is now a blown motor. I was in Mexico racing a, an Audi, and sure enough, the stick, I rev it out, and all of a sudden I hear ticking. I'm well, sold. the car looks great. I mean, besides it being dirty, it it's exactly as described. I want to show these guys the shop and show them their new IS300. So here we go. Man, wow. Looks a bit different than the, the only one video we have, or two videos we have. Man, <laughs> we, we have watched every so cool. video, every little pausing it, trying to get any little shot of it. Like, that is crazy. Have uh, we showed on any video with the white? In the background. Oh yeah. One oh yeah. yeah. We were like, we've been spying every little yeah, thing yeah, trying yeah. to see this thing. This right here is, I think, the perfect candidate for a 1J or 2J GTE swap. 2J C engine, no sh. All new Hashimoto stuff, k intake, all ultra racing drop bars and sway bars, front and rear. New timing belt, water pump, spark plugs. Because the car is the progression, and him and I have been watching the channel for years. And so the progression is, I'm taking this and switching it out for the Beamer, but long term, you know, when he wants more be power. Your car right so here. We, we were gonna do, Second we were gonna car. rebuild a, a wrecked car together. And then when this came up, I just said, hey, rather than me spend the, that money on that car, I grew up with a buddy that rebuilt the Mustang with his dad, you know, total build up. And he was the one kid in high school that just protected his car parked in the back, he treated with respect. All the rest of us are knuckleheads with our cars, right? right? right. This kid respect his car, so I wanted to do that with my kids, is like, hey, let's build a car together that you've put your money, your time, your show, your cheers, instead of being with your buddies, you were wrenching. So here they are, side by side. Beautiful, clean, white IS300. Very dirty 335i. That's okay, we can fix that. You guys just got back from a test drive. What did you think? Oh, it's, it's super fun. It's fun, right? It's great, Smooth. Yeah. It's not the fastest car in the world by any means, but Look, it's it, fun. It needs a 2JZ swap. It needs an intercooler right there. And it needs a hydraulic e-brake. <laughs> we should, do you have an Instagram? You want it? We'll put it up on the screen right Oxygen here. Oxygen 153. Yeah. All right, so if you want to follow the IS300 after it leaves, leaves the throttle garage, uh, check out Sean's Instagram. One other thing I want to make sure everyone knows is this car is actually going to stay here for about a week to a week and a half or so because we're going to be getting uh, transportation from San Diego back to Minnesota with the car. So uh, they're not going to drive the car back, so you may see it in the background, so please don't freak out. Uh, yes, the deal is done, the paperwork is signed, the titles are signed, and uh, Sean and Lincoln now own a new IS300, and here's our new 335i. I think that's going to do it for today's video. If you like this video and you want to stay up to date on the Trading Up series, please consider subscribing. Hit the like button, comment down below, and let us know what you think we should trade the 335i for next. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next one. Later. What's the material? Is that board it's FRP here? Uh, the nice thing about this is, yeah, you can smack this on the ground and it's not gonna just destroy itself. It's just Stolen Victor Driver.